Hi, I want to do a talk on what will it take for us to thrive. And I was delighted yesterday to stumble upon the Thrive Movement video. Um, I just saw the link and I clicked on it and it was like, wow, it's two hours. And the first part is about UFOs um, and ultimately, you know, it's, that's, that's a very touchy, <laughs> touchy field. But how I feel about UFOs, it's out of our control. If they exist, if they've got this tremendous power, then it's up to them to contact us, not us to contact them, right? The ball's in their court. So why worry about that when, if they do exist, there's nothing we can do unless they want to do it, right? So chasing them down or whatever. And um, trying to get the government to acknowledge or whatever, there's, you know, they had some pretty amazing, credible individuals on that video saying they're true. So I don't waste my time thinking about things I can't control, is my point. And UFOs is one of them. So what can we control? Well, the second part of the video is all about what the reality is. And the reality is that what I've been saying all along is pretty much what uh, Foster has said and others are saying is that basically a, a, a very small elite group of Wall Street banks are controlling everything. And one of the most important points that that is missed in Thrive and how do we bring it about is that most people don't realize is that the startup is the vehicle of the 1%. The startup is broken. The startup basically launches ideas that change the world, okay? Ideas that change the world. How they do that is basically they've accessed their capital networks. So it's a monopoly by Wall Street banks and their funding sources, right? Or their funding sources of the Wall Street banks in order to, to control innovation. Innovation that ultimately defines the world. So for example, if we want free energy, then we need to have corporations that are not tied to the 1%, are not tied to big oil, are not tied to, these, to, tied to these banks. And how do we do that? Well, the open innovation framework that I've invented, that I spent the last three years creating, does that. And ultimately, how it does it is a couple of things. One is, it launches companies that either becomes part of us, found ups, kind of like how YouTube is part of, you know, um, Google, right? It's independent. It's a, what's known as a qualified subcorporation. It's, or, for example, how Berkshire Hathaway, right, is massive conglomerate of corporations. Each and every one of them is independently run, but they're all part of one entity. Well, imagine one entity, Found Ups Corp, that is our entity for the people, for the 99%, that ultimately, number one, we're fiscally transparent. So any one of you who want to see our books can see our books. Number two is you decide... If you like our CEO or not, if you like me or not, if you want someone else, you ratify the CEO. And that happens every four, every four years based on the mandate of the, of the articles. Number three is we are carbon negative, which means we do not affect the planet. We help the planet. We're taking away CO2. And we even treat the planet as one of our stakeholders. So like all the crap all these corporations are doing in Africa and all over the world, you know, strip mining, if they're harming the planet, they can't do it, right? We're mandated to help the planet, right? So open corporations won't affect the planet. We will, we will um, heal the planet. And most importantly, how we get rid of the 1% is we take 80% of all our net profits are up to, FoundUps Corp is 80%. Right? We leave 20% for our core investors and, and folks and everything else of our net profits to, you know, to, 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 um, to reward them. So those folks that help launch FoundUps Corp, basically think of them as they get the 20% of the net profits, plus the employees and the stakeholders and everything else. The rest of the 80% of net profits goes into launching more. What does this do? It gets rid of the banks. It gets rid of the angel investors. It gets rid of the 1% as having a controlling interest in these ideas. It's really that simple. So corporations end up launching corporations. You're gonna see right now there's a massive movement. For example, Coca-Cola just got 
into accelerators. They're launching accelerators all over the world. Corporations are seeing that here's a way for them to capture ideas, control ideas, and to, again, make the 1% more money. Because right now, all this profit goes to the 1%. Raping the planet goes to the 1%. So how do we bring about Thrive? Well, it's simple. OIF. OIF will bring about Thrive. Why? It turns the whole pyramid up on its head. If you watch the video, you'll, you'll see the pyramid. All of a sudden, the greater stakeholders, which is the 99%, is my term for the greater stakeholders, is the planet and the 99% of the, is the planet and its population. Okay, Even the 1% can be part of the greater stakeholders. They ultimately mandate any change to the articles in corporation. They mandate who runs the corporation. They mandate where the funding and everything else goes um, from, the, from the corporation. The lesser stakeholders actually invest the money, the 80, up to 80% of net profits, into launching more ideas. So they become what I call archangels in our platform. Archangels are basically employees who have access to the 80% 80, 80 of net profits and are running around our platform saying, I want, you know what, I want to put money in my community. I want to put money here, 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 here. It's not their money, it's their corporate money. They spend the money. They spend the net profits. As consumers, you... And the 99% of the greatest stakeholders basically bring in the profits, right? So ultimately what we do is we flip. That's why I have the upside down I, explanation mark, upside down. We flip innovation on its head. It's really that simple. So, you know, how do we bring Thrive about? Well, it's simple, OIF. So if I could get the Thrive, if I could get OIF as part of the Thrive movement, if I could get the support of, of Foster and others to look at what I've developed and to put it through um, the ringer, right? I know it's going to stand up. My solution is going to help save the planet. 99% faster than any, any idea right now. It will bring about free energy. Why? Because these ideas could be free energy that are funded by the 99%. It will, it will kill all this pork, pork barrel and special interest because guess what? Open corporations, we do not are mandated that we cannot participate in government. We cannot use our money, our influence, everything else to influence government. If anything, we will use our money and everything else to combat this, right? To give freedom to the people to hear, hear their voice. So I hope this makes sense. I hope you will share this. I hope you will, you know, if you have access to capital, you know, talk to me, Skype me, found ups found up on Skype. How do I turn this off?